Good morning and welcome to Tuesday and our celebration of the Eucharist. We're back in the house um, because over in the church they are doing a lot of tree work um, so um, the noise is a little bit too much so they've just gone and turned their saws off now so they might uh, they might be turned well they need to turn back on to take the main chunk of the tree out so um, we're here uh, no different so we have to celebrate in the same way so it's good to be with you and we begin with the prayer for all those suffering with the virus at the moment keep us good lord under the shadow of your mercy sustain and support the anxious be with those who care for the sick and lift up all those who are brought low that we may find comfort knowing that nothing can separate us from your love in jesus christ our lord Amen. We gather in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you all. And also with you. And as we come together we acknowledge that we've made mistakes and we need God's love and mercy. Almighty God, our, our Heavenly, Heavenly Father, Father, we, we have, have sinned, sinned against you and, and against our neighbour, neighbour in, in thought and word and deed, deed through, through negligence, through weakness, through our, our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy upon you. Pardon and deliver us all from our sins. Confirm and strengthen us in all goodness and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Gracious God, by the obedience of Jesus, you brought salvation to this wayward world of ours. Draw us into harmony with your will, that we may find all things restored in him, in our Saviour, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. When Ahaz, son of Jotham, the son of Uzziah, was king of Judah, King Rezin of Aram, and Pekah, son of Remaliah, king of Israel, marched up to fight against Jerusalem, but they could not overpower it. Now the house of David was told, Aram, has allied itself with Ephraim. So the hearts of Ahaz and his people were shaken, as the trees of the forest are shaken by the wind. Then the Lord said to Isaiah, Go out, you and your son, Shear Jashub, to meet Ahaz at the end of the aqueduct of the upper pool, on the road to the launderer's field. Say to him, be careful, keep calm, and don't be afraid. Do not lose heart because of these two smouldering stubs of firewood, because of the fierce anger of Rezin and Aram and the son of Ramalia. Aram, Ephraim and Ramalia's, Ramalia's son have plotted your ruin, saying, let us invade Judah let us tear it apart and divide it among ourselves and make the son of Te Tabil king over it. Yet this is what the sovereign Lord says. It will not take place. It will not happen. For the head of Aram is Damascus and the head of Damascus is only resin. Within 65 years, Ephraim will be too shattered 
to be a people. The head of Ephraim is Samaria, and the head of Samaria is only Ramalia's son. If you do not stand firm in your faith, you will not stand at all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the psalm is, God upholds his city forever. God, God upholds, upholds his, his city, city forever. forever. The Lord is great and worthy to be praised in the city of our God. His holy mountain rises in beauty, the joy of all the earth. God, God upholds, upholds his, his city forever. forever. Mount Zion, true, true pole of the earth, the great king city. God in the midst of its citadels has shown himself its stronghold. God, God upholds his, his city forever. forever. For the kings assembled together, together they advanced. They saw at once, they were astounded, dismayed, they fled in fear. God upholds his city forever. A trembling sees them there, like the pangs of birth, or as the east wind destroys the ships of Tarshish. God upholds his city forever. Alleluia, Alleluia. Train me, Lord, to observe your law, to keep it within my heart. Alleluia. Lord be with you. And also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus began to approach, reproach the town in which most of his miracles had been worked because they refused to repent. Alas for you, Bethsaida, for if miracles done in you had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would have repented they would have repented long ago in sackcloth and ashes and still i tell you that it will not go as hard on judgment day with tyre and sidon as with you and for you capernaum did you want to be exalted as high as the heaven you shall be thrown down to hell for if the miracles done in you had been done in Sodom, it would have been standing yet. And still I tell you, it will go not, it will, I still, and still I tell you, it will not go as hard with the land of Sodom on Judgment Day as with you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. I just want to ask briefly, after our first reading from Isaiah, what does it mean to stand firm in faith to you? I think for um, many of us, it will all have, it'll have its different um, connotations. Then, what does it mean to you to stand firm in faith? Does it mean stand to protect the faith, to protect tradition, to protect something that is so precious to you that you'll do anything and disregard anybody else with any other ideas? Does it mean for you that the love of Christ, the love of God conquers all? And to hold on to that love, to stand firm in that love, that nothing can separate you from that love? Does it mean that to stand firm in faith for you is to just be faithful, to carry out the commandments, to live according to scripture, to the Old Testament and the commandments and Jesus' Gospels. 
with love for God and neighbour as your prime focus. I think for each one of us, we may differ. It would be a good discussion to have. Maybe it's a bit of everything. I don't know. But the, the question, stand firm. Stand firm in faith. Because if you don't, you will not stand at all. A question to ponder and pray about. I've left the sick, the, the um, so we come to our time of prayer, personal pr uh, prayer of intercessions. And uh, there's a number of, as we know, a number of things to pray for. All we've got to do is watch the news, listen to the news, whatever, and uh, things come up. I've left, unfortunately, I've left the sick, the, the list of the sick over in the church. I can't get back to them now for a while. So we place our prayers before our Lord and God. We pray for our world and any confusion that we find ourselves in as a nation, as a community, as individuals. We ask your Lord to work at clarifying and clearing the way to understanding and truth and love for all. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the sick, for those who are on our list, for the many that's on our list, for all those who come to mind at this moment. We ask for your healing touch, Lord. We pray for comfort for all the tens of thousands of people that have been diagnosed with the virus over these last few days around the world. Bring your protection, your healing, your will, be, may your will be done in all cases. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for those who have died, those who have lost their loved ones, Pray especially for Linda Payne. We ask you, Lord, that those who have passed away may be with you in heaven, and that those that mourn the loss of their loved ones, that they may find comfort and healing and peace in their own hearts and minds and lives. Lord, in your mercy. Hear, Hear our prayer. prayer. And just for a few moments we place our own thoughts and prayers before our Lord and God. Merciful Lord, accept these, these prayers, prayers for, for the, the sake, sake of your Son, our, our Saviour, Saviour, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And also with you. Peace be with you. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Let us pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his church. Lord, may the bread and cup we offer bring your church the unity and peace they signify. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord, be, the Lord be with you all. 
and also with you lift up your hearts we lift them to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right to give thanks and praise father all powerful and ever living god we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks you have no need of our praise yet your desire yet our desire to thank you is itself your gift our prayer of thanksgiving adds nothing to your greatness but makes us grow in your grace through jesus christ our lord in our joy we sing to your glory with all the choirs of angels holy 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 lord god of power and might heaven and earth are full of your glory Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness, granted by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will. These gifts of bread and wine may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ who on the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. in the same way after supper he took the cup and gave you thanks he gave it to them saying drink this all of you this is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this as often as you drink it in remembrance Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once and for all for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension and looking forward to his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup. We thank you for counting us worthy to be in your presence and serve you. Send your Holy Spirit on your people and gather into one in your kingdom, all who share in this bread, this, this one bread, this one cup, so that we in the company of Mary, the Blessed Virgin Mother of God, Saint John, our patron, and all the saints may praise and glorify you forever through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. And at the Saviour's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, our Father, Father, who art, art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant us peace in our day, and by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from unnecessary worry and distress as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For, For the, the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now, now and, and forever. forever. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread lamb of god you take away the sin of the world have mercy on us lamb of god 
you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to our world. By your body and blood, free us from every, every evil and keep us safe in your teachings always and never let us be parted from you. Behold the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us all to new and everlasting life. the body of Christ. Amen. The blood of Christ. Amen.
Let us bring our prayers together. Let us pray. Gracious God, lover of, lover of all, in this sacrament we are one family in Christ your Son, one in the sharing of his body and blood, and one in the communion of his spirit. Help us to grow in love for one another and become and to come to the full maturity of the body of Christ. We make our prayer through our Saviour, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you all. And also with you. And may Almighty God bless you all and protect you all, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace and joy of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us. See you all again soon, I hope.